dang what I did with my tarot cards. Oh my god. Dang, that's what a cookie is in. Somebody think they sweet. Oh my god, trying to hide the cookies, Lord. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Hey, you guys, tap the screen so show my video. I appreciate you. Y'all up and tripping these folks. Oh, you hear me? They trying to figure out how you overcoming their little spell work or whatever they doing. I don't know what these folks doing. They doing something. Somebody trying something. They trying to stop you some type of way. I don't know. They going above and beyond to do whatever they trying to do, y'all. I don't know if I'm using these. Somebody got some. I call them haters. I said, uh, I posted this morning, dear haters, you don't have to be upset with somebody getting their life together because you can do the same thing. But you lack self-confidence and that's the reason why your haters is so mad at you. Okay. They are so upset at you. And all they got to do is do the same thing you're doing is mind your business and elevate yourself. That's all they really need to do. But somebody trying to tend to your business more than you tend to your own business. These people are going, they doing too much for me. They doing too much for me. They think they little bit of spell work. These people think they little bit of spell work is going to work on you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Spirit. Yo, they think that. They, they, they hoping in their mind, in, in their liberty heart, in their liberty heart, that whatever spell work they're trying to do is going to stop you. Oh, spirit. Yep. Indeed. Hi, you guys. I am Latoya Coleman, and welcome to my channel. I am a prophetess, and I'll be using these to come in my cards for illustration purposes only. For the inquiring minds. I do say illustration purposes only because I know I have y'all the ones who really intrigued by what I do and how I do things. I know I ain't like the other people and I'll never be that. I ain't never trying to be that. But I know a lot of y'all be inboxing me asking me how am I able to do what I do with these little took me on my cards. It's just took me on my cards, y'all. That's it. It ain't even the goddamn cards. It's the person that got the cards, okay? Because y'all see many people with these goddamn took me on my cards, okay? Okay. I heard one in a million. That's it, spirit. But let's get the message out here. Take what resonate and always leave the rest. You guys, I do have my Fiverr account open again. Thank God. I added something to it with um uh life's purpose i don't know if y'all want to know what y'all life's purpose is i can help y'all with that i do have um twin flame as well and love energy reading i need to put the general up there as well but I i'll do it later i'll do it later for the ones who are twin flamers y'all i have twin flame tarot 1111 on youtube for the virgos I got the Virgo show on YouTube. And for the ones who really just want to be spiritually enlightened, I got I am Latoya Coleman on YouTube, you guys. Go follow that. And y'all can follow my Facebook too. I am Latoya Coleman. Prophetess and Latoya Coleman. Period. Mm-hmm. Let's jump into this message. I should ask why they mad, but I don't care why they mad, Spirit, because you know, you shouldn't even care about how these people feel about you. They are irrelevant, and you know, and that's why they are upset because they know they are irrelevant in your life. They are very irrelevant. <laughs> Trust the niggle. What is niggling you? What What is your intuition is telling you? I feel like somebody's getting bothered by some type of past. Somebody's trying to bring somebody back to a past uh, situation or something. Keep somebody stuck in something that you have grown from. I feel like you are um, starting to upgrade yourself, um, uh, heal yourself, lift yourself up out of something. But I feel like another person is trying to come back and bring you back, bring you back, birth in a new age. Yeah. Somebody's trying to bring you back to something that you love. Trust the timing. Trust the way that you came in on time is not running out. You are already doing it. Stop overthinking and face. keep facing your true north node, y'all. 
somebody's got you know share your voice come out of the cage persecution exactly they trying to persecute another person you ain't gotta hide from these motherfuckers i don't care who they are i don't care Y'all need to stop overthinking about what people say about y'all. How y'all? It's like this: if y'all are really unbothered, be ye unbothered. If these people sitting up here talking about you, talking about they doing spell work, gossiping, and doing all this shit, don't get that shit no power. I mean, these people are irrelevant for real. Like they don't matter. They, I mean, whatever they say about you, however they try to bring you down, as long as they're not at your house, as long as these people are not touching you, they don't fucking matter. Let them talk to their they, they face turn blue. They can talk all they want to. I mean, whatever they say, they don't mean like I posted earlier today. Don't um, nobody know nothing about you unless you tell them. So if you're not going around talking about yourself, telling people your business, they don't know shit about you. They can gossip all they want. It shouldn't matter to you if they're gossiping about you or not or trying to do whatever they're trying to do, baby. Somebody, you know, gossiping is a form of spell where hell, it don't matter. They spreading rumors and half of most of the majority of it isn't true. Only you know your truth. You you know what's up with you. You you know what you got going on. You know what you did and what you didn't do. And you ain't got to explain nothing to nobody. I don't care how they feel. That's what they want. They want you to explain yourself because they don't know the T. They want to know it. They want to know your sauce. They want to know how you're able to do this and how you're able to do that. How you're able to stay protected even though they're trying to send this little whatever they're trying to send at you, baby. Because it won't work. And every time you say that, it pisses them out. Every time, baby. Don't be feeding these people your energy. Because you recognizing them and, and going back and forth with these liberty bitches is giving them your energy. You ain't even got to have a conversation with these people. You ain't even got to text back and forth. You ain't got to respond to nothing. You ain't got to do none of that. You know what I'm saying? The blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. And hell, I would just be focusing on me. You know what I'm saying? You'll go further in life when you focus on yourself. I mean, I don't care who got to come up and say something. They coming up with a lot of shit. Like my mama used to tell me, they talked about Jesus Christ, baby. They talked about, uh, uh, you know, the in the, in the story, the fable, in the story tale, how they said Jesus was the perfect one, okay? And they talked about the perfect one, okay? And they condemned him, okay? And then they crucified him, okay? But he still rose, okay? And to me, that Christ-like Christ -like consciousness within you is you rising above what they trying to do. Y'all or um, y'all was burnt at the stake, y'all, y'all, and rose up out the ashes like a phoenix. And when you came up, you, you just knew. That's why you ain't got to put yourself back into the past anymore. Because once you grew up out of that, why you going back somewhere that you don't belong? I don't care who is the, I don't care how many it is or who. They don't matter. So don't give them any type of important part of you. The fuck? Y'all be wanting to go and prove a point to these folks. Go back and forth with these bitches. You living your best life. That's why they want you to go back and forth with them. That's why they want you to bring up their name. That's why they want you to talk about them. That's why they want you to, uh, you know, feed them your energy. Because as long as you ain't have no conversation with these people, they can't get none of your vibes at all. They can't even touch you. And that will make them mad. They, they get in their feelings when they can't do anything. You know what I'm saying? They can't play with your mind. They can't do none of that. You are aware who you are. And you walking away from this being a bigger person. Yo, you're going to be the bigger person because you are the bigger person. That's why they call them. They are called the little bitty bitches for a reason. Because they small. They small minded. They feel small. And due to the fact that you're intimidating them, it's not your problem that you are intimidating them. It's their issue. You ain't got shit to do with how them folks feel about you none you ain't got to correct none of no people none of that shit however they feel however they see you that's it y'all know that will be a daily battle because not everybody gonna like you everybody gonna have a different perspective on how they see you so that's it you ain't got to go correct everybody just because they don't like you okay that's it is what it is we just you know it is you just don't like me okay 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 
Yeah. Learning how to be human in the world, but not of it, baby. Fuck these people. And I mean that. I mean that strength. I mean that because as long as you are aware of who you are, fuck these people. I don't give a damn what spell what they trying it. And then they talking about it. They trying to threaten you. They sitting up here and, and it's kind of crazy. That if you ain't talking about these spell words, but they get triggered, especially if you're doing a return to Sunday. I don't know. I don't have to do no return to Sunday no more. I just let it be what it be, spirit. Whoever that is, it's not mine. Whatever prayer they trying to send toward me, that ain't mine. That's they shit. You know, the universe going to conspire with whatever y'all put out there. You know what I'm saying? Return that shit back. If that's that personal shit. You know, whatever you put out there, if it's wicked, it's going to come back to you wicked. You know what I'm saying? You put good energy out there, it's going to come back to you in good energy. Hell, y'all learn how to block y'all uh, energy field, protect it, stay protected, know that you are protected. These folks can't do a damn thing to you. Nothing. And as long as you have that in your mind that you ain't, they can't do nothing to you, they can't. You don't give nothing, no power. Fear cannot go where you headed. And that's every day that you wake your ass up. You cannot live in fear. And people going to attack you all day, every day. I learned that when I seen my auntie in the church. And this woman was walking in the righteous energy within her. And she was getting attacked in her own church by some crooked ass people. And they were sitting up here thinking that shit was going to work. Because they, they thought that it was more powerful than the, the woman of God. Because she was a very powerful woman. You hear me, baby? I'm talking about that woman was a, uh, you know, you know how the women is. And they ain't just women, people, people who walk righteously. People who already know who they are. People who really walk with God, God, walk with them. God is in them, actually. You could tell the difference because, baby, energy doesn't lie. Baby, these people kept coming to my auntie's church trying to, you know, do all that root work on her all the time. And it never worked. It never worked. They'll try you because they feel like they are more powerful than you, so they want to stop you. But what they, these people really are is intrigued by you. They're intrigued by your magic or whatever. Judgment in reverse, baby. And then they in that judgment energy thinking they finna stop some. Baby, divine intervention. Spirit gonna stop them. God gonna stop them. Shit. Gratitude, queen of swords, five of cups. Mm-hmm. The hangman and the five of swords, baby. Mm hmm Baby, what? The sun in reverse. I feel like everything that these people trying to do, somebody's trying to isolate you. Somebody's trying to get you in your mind, get you in your feelings, make you feel less than, make you feel like them. And if you're not bothered or triggered by their antics, is it, they are really looking at themselves. I feel like these people battle themselves every day that they don't, you know, uh, antagonize you or uh, intimidate you or bring you down, dim your light, whatever. Can't nobody dim your light. Can't nobody dim your light, baby. Only you can do that. I don't care what they tell you. You give yourself permission to think lowly of yourself. Shit. No people can't come up and tell you nothing. If you don't let that shit affect you, it ain't going to affect you. Regardless of what they say. Regardless of how they see you. It doesn't fucking matter. That's their opinion on the viewpoint of you. Hell, you probably got your own opinion on them. That don't mean you going around speaking your opinion on everybody that you don't like. That's a waste of time. Instead of me focusing on other people, I'd rather sit up here and focus on my sucker. That's the only thing you can really control is your world, baby. Your world. But see, these people are lost. When they came up against you thinking they were finna stop you at, 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 at your desires, at your purpose, or whatever you're, you know, whatever you're doing for yourself that's good. You know what I'm saying. They want to knock your purpose. Yeah, they want to stop them. Mm-hmm. Fuck them folks. They, they won't spell word. Here you go. Fuck you. Okay, spirit. Okay. Period. 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 And do I need to repeat it? Because I mean it. Period. Now, that's a spell for that ass. You hear me? Ha, <laughs> spirit. Right. Yeah, emotionally aloof. Missed opportunity. This shit is empty. Whatever these people trying to do, baby, this shit empty. Don't get no power. Overly critical. Opinionated. Right. They opinions don't fucking matter. E don't, e don't, vengeful, yo, yo, very manipulative, abusive, yo, mm -hmm, it don't matter. Perspective, open to new perspective, baby. Your viewpoint on how you view yourself is what matters. 
you focusing on you is what matters. They don't. Y'all be want to run and cry in the corner and at the end. I know that bitch doing spell work. I know. I already know. I know. I feel it. You feel it. But if you was protecting yourself, if you had your, 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 your aura and all this, you know, your shield around you, you wouldn't feel nothing. They could try this shit to the damn, to the day they get ready to die. They don't mean to go touch you. But if, as soon as you put that in, in your mind, that's how spell work works, okay? And haters, I know you watching. Yo, that's how it works when you scare somebody. Mm-hmm. And, and they keep thinking about it. You know, your mind is a very powerful tool. So, if you get in your mind and you get to thinking like, oh my God, they put spell work on me. Guess what that spell work is doing? It's working. Because now you're in fear. Now you done gave them your power. Nobody has more power than the other one. I don't know. Cause I, I, ain't, you know, I, I don't know. Because weak-minded motherfuckers, they ain't really got no power. But you know. You know how that shit goes right, spirit. Yo, faith. Period. Period. Faith. Period. Calm after a difficult phase. Follow aspiration. Optimism. As long as you believe in yourself. As long as you are, you know, you you are who you say you are. As long as you are focusing on you and nobody else. As long as you out there watering your own garden. As long as you are not intimidated by a little bitty bitch. It's a reason. It starts big for a reason. They trying to bring you down the size. What size is that? <laughs> okay, spirit. Yeah, what size is that, baby? Favor. Y'all know how they say favor isn't fair. Because that's all the reason why these people mad at you. Because favor isn't fair. And, and it ain't just, you know how they sit up and say God did this and God did that for me. Y'all know how when you choose yourself and you allow yourself to work with God. You keep that vision in you. Man, these, that's where your favor coming in. At. They can't bully you from that. They can't take take none of that. Look, gratitude. Sp yeah. Baby, what? What, what, a What, what, a What? Okay, God. I got you. I hear you. I don't know about these people, but I be hearing what you be telling me. Spirit. Gratitude. Gratitude. Yeah, gratitude. Benevolence and compassion. Recognize the, the internal force within yourself and others. Baby, what vision is? Baby, they trying to take all that. Spirit, who gave them the right? Because they ain't got it. That's why they mad. They, they, they want that juice that you got. And they liberty asses ain't got it. <laughs> I just heard Beyonce song. You are a part of something way bigger. I know it's spirit. Yeah. I'll be the roots. You'll be the tree. Spirit is your root. And you are the tree. That's why they say you bear a good fruit. I posted yesterday or today, a bitch that don't have any fruit on their tree can't throw no shade at me. Baby, what? Your tree ain't got shit. It's dead. Okay. Um, capacity, right, spirit? They don't have the capacity. But they sit up and trying to throw dark magic. They liberty asses. They like the small soldiers running around doing their. They their father is the low vibrational energy. That's why they trying to bully you. Hmm. But again, they ain't coming up against you. Look, using power to control people. That's the shadow part. <laughs> they the shadows. <laughs> Let there be light, bitches. Y'all tell them. Yeah, tell them, yeah, all right. Capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. Willingness to proclaim a vision without regard of personal gain. See, some of y'all are just out here doing what y'all got to do. Focus on you. That's it. These people want your attention. They see the power. They see that you're marked by God is what I just heard. And they're trying to come and erase the mark like they can do that. Child. Bully. Yeah, conceals deep fear behind verbal or physical abuse. That's why they trying to talk. As long as you're not listening to them, they shit is irrelevant. Everything that they say to you is irrelevant. It shouldn't fucking matter. 
engineer, ability to give creative energy, a practical expression, talent for design and resolution to come in dilemmas. Only thing y'all really doing is figuring you out, learning yourself every day. Every day, God give you breath, you are showing appreciation for the life that God has given you. Baby, you're just doing your job on being you. And they are doing their job on trying to be you. And it's hard as hell. It's hard. So why not throw dark magic on you? <laughs> why not? Why not? <laughs> you being a mentor, passing on wisdom and refining the students' character. Maybe you teaching these little bitty bitches something. They learning today. You going to learn today. They going to learn, spirit. King, king me, spirit. I know that's real. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Enlightened, benevolent leadership benefiting those in, in your charge. Y'all Y'all are the fishermen. Fish, what is it? How is it called? The fishermen of men. The, something like that. Y'all know how that saying go. The fishermen of men. And that's how it go. The fishermen of men. Y'all ain't the fishermen of fish. Y'all the fishermen of men. Something like that. Something like that. See, that's what they want to be. <laughs> I just want to be like the collective. I just want to be successful. And y'all success is however y'all where y'all success ought to be. If y'all happy, that's a success. Y'all don't y'all like I tell people all the time, it's hard as hell for people to brew to, to be happy. Shit, just to even be happy with themselves. It's hard. That's a task for a lot of low vibrational people. And it's a lot of low vibrational people. That's why they call them fake. That's why they call them, you know, imposters. Cause they fake as hell. I seen a video earlier today. Well, it says during this time, y'all, the more we're focusing on ourselves, y'all know that shift is bringing in. Well, y'all, they finna separate the fake from the real. These people walk around here pretending like they're enlightened and they come from the most high. You finna see the difference of the ones who really tapped in compared to the ones who ain't. The one who just doing this shit for clout and the one who just doing it for the money and shit. They, you won't see these bitches file. See, that's why these people want to be in your seat because you ain't one of the bitches they gonna file. <laughs> you are one of them grand people, the big ones here, yeah. the one that's real. Okay, speak. Ew. Two of Pentacles, the world failure. Boom, boom, boom. Then I say you, it's gonna be a difference. So kind, very clear difference from the ones who real and the ones who fake. Ace of Pentacles, the manifest of new financial or whatever. Y'all possess the gift, okay? Okay. But the ones who don't possess the gift, look, no closure, lack of movement, lack of completion, need to finish what they started. They can't feel your stagnation. Okay. It's going to be a major difference. Major divide, baby. Major, look, major divide. Ace of Cups. Somebody's walking out here like, and y'all are who y'all say y'all are. And if y'all wasn't, then why would y'all say y'all was? Okay, spirit. What Eminem said in the future is something in every day I am. Okay. Yeah, that's just the way you are. I am. What up? Okay, what up? I don't know how this song go. I don't. Wisdom mom. I like that name. Because somebody really trying to bully you. Really trying to throw them darts at you. Really trying to talk bad on your name. Really don't fucking know you. Really going off rumors. Really looking like boo boo the motherfucking fool. But uh, if you want to be a part of that clown, that circus, then, baby, put your mask on and act just like them fools. Baby, go, go entertain them bitches. Go ahead. Go ahead and dim your light and wash your little bit ass over there and go fight with them. Go flush with them. Go entertain them. Go tell them. Still go, 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 go explain yourself to them because that's something you ain't got to do. You, you, you ain't even got none of that. Nothing. I don't care if they send a text. You ain't got to respond. If they call you, baby, ain't nobody tell you to be on that phone because you giving up any kind of conversation. Is you giving them your energy for real? That's why I don't, I'm very cautious on who I talk to now. Like, I'm not the same like I used to be, baby. I'm not that friendly, gullible ass trying to look at everybody like they me. I know ain't nobody like me. I'm, I'm one of a kind. You hear me? And I'm not trying to look at everybody like the reflection of myself because that was my problem. I kept thinking people was like me and then I went out into this world and saw how savages was out here. How, how nasty some of these people can be. They How jealous hearted, how envious, how dark these motherfuckers can be. They really are. They really are. And it's sad. 
It's so sad. But the saddest thing is you can lose yourself trying to entertain these people, trying to prove something to nobody's. Baby, that's why they want to sit up here and be next to you. Because they see that in you. You know, people recognize your power in you before you will. You might think that shit normal to you. But they look at you like you extraordinary, extraordinary or amazing. Because you are. You are. I have people calling me that shit every fucking day, all day, every day. You are an amazing, powerful. I know. I see it now. But I didn't see it at being the beginning. Because me, this was just normal. I thought everybody was like me. No, they're not. And I had to see that shit the hard way. And then not to mention the ones that kept trying to do spell work on me, baby. Shit, these bitches, they would try. I only had spell work to work on me one time. And let me tell you how good God is. Because when they sent it to me, I was in that spell work for like one or two days probably. And, and due to me being tapped in the way I am, I heard it in the spirit. And spirit had told me, he said, I'm going I'm to send you somewhere. Um, because you know how when they say God will give you something, God don't physically give you anything. He will lead you down the path of righteousness. Like he'll lead you somewhere, right time, right place, right? So when, no, when they were putting that spare word with three fucking women trying me about my ex-ass husband, baby, it was that serious that they had, to, you know, but when I heard it in the spirit, they was like, spirit, like they putting, they trying to put that, that stuff on you, you know, trying to put spare work on you. And I seen it, it was in my house, y'all, that thing, whatever, that, the, the, whatever, it was like three of them was in my house and you could see them and I couldn't even go to sleep. I'm the type of person I get my sleep. And I, I don't give a fuck what nobody say, but I get my six to eight hours of sleep. I sleep real good at night. I really do. I really do. Uh, I don't give a f You know, it is what it is. I got to have my race. But when they sent that spare work toward me, baby, I couldn't sleep no more than two hours. I was sitting balled up in a fucking corner because somebody had a son. You could see them because they used to stand over me while I was balled up in the chair. Like, for real, stand over me. Like, all in my damn face. And I used to just, you know, scared. And so God kept telling me, I'm going to send you somewhere. I want you to go to this store. And I told this story before. And, and I, um, the girl that used to stay with me, I was like, can you take me to the spiritual store? And she was like, nah, I'll take you the next day. I'll take you tomorrow. And I was like, nah, I got to go now. And God kept telling me, go now, go now. You can't go tomorrow. You got to go now. So when I went to the store, I walked into this prophetess, this prophet. I ain't even say nothing. Because when I walked into the store, Spirit was like, y'all was going to meet somebody. He said, that person you're going to meet, he's going to help you get this up off you. Because I ain't know, you know, everybody is not gifted in that area. I'm not sitting up here saying I ever be a herbalist. I might do because my spirit is pushing me into it. But at this moment, I'm not. You know, I just lay hands on people. I can't heal, but spirit, I know when he get when I when I get ready to move into that area, I'ma move into that area. Right now, I'm with these little took me ammo cards. Right now, I'm with healing people mental by talking to y'all, by helping y'all, by showing y'all the way. You know what I'm saying? So when I went into that spiritual store, the guy he came, he looked at me, he said, You come here. <laughs> Who? Because I, I always knew when God had something to tell me. I could tell when I wasn't listening. Because every time I walk around somebody, God is sending somebody right in my pad on, at the right time. And they'll know exactly what to tell me. Because I've been just had a conversation with God. And they'll come and repeat the same thing that I hadn't said to myself. Right? I hadn't told God within. That's my prayer clause. When I go pray, I'm praying to myself. Yeah, I'm talking to myself. I talk to the God within me. So when he said, you come in, I was like, damn. Okay, spirit. Now I'm finna see what you're talking about. He said, you know, um... You got three uh, spirits that walking with you. I said, yeah, I know. I've been feeling them. I can't get rid of them because they be tor tormenting me in my house. He said, yo, you're going to have to come to my eyes. I'm going to help you get that out. And I was like, dang, because God had told me somebody in him was going to help me. And that's exactly what happened. But see, you know, you got some people that don't believe like that, who's not tapped in like that, who's not divinely covered, who's not divinely guided. They will sit in that fear for years and be tormented by spirits because people sit up here and work these little bit of spell works on them. And it will work because if you weaken your vessel like that or you, you, you're not playing good seeds, if you don't have faith, baby, that shit will work on you. 
Because first of all, you don't even know what higher calling is. You don't even believe in yourself. You don't know yourself. You, you got that dark cloud, as they say, around your head. And you walk around with that dark energy on you all the time. So you are already attacking yourself because you don't see yourself. You don't love yourself. You don't know yourself. And then you allow other people words and they, they, they little bitty power to come in and attack you because you already feel small. So, yeah, it'll work on you. But people like me. Okay. People like that, what, what I told you about my auntie, uh, women of God, woman of God, men of God, the people with children of God. Yeah, they, it, it won't, uh-uh, baby. The weapons form, but it won't prosper. See, they're trying to take me out. Baby, if them them spirits would have kept working on me, they would have they would have made me commit some things, do some things against myself. I know, I know, right? Right. That's that protection, that guidance you have. I don't care who be trying to come up out to me, baby. You don't put no fear in me. No man will put fear in me regardless. I don't give a fuck how powerful you really are. I'm not finna be afraid of you. Because once I allow that fear in, fear gonna come in and do what it gotta do. That's to defeat you. <laughs> I seen a video not too long ago, and I just shared it on Facebook with a guy. And I know he good at what he do. He, um, Boca Return or something like that. Um, on TikTok, but I know he on Facebook too. I used to see him watching his work um some years ago, like five, six years ago, when I first uh ran into that man's page on Facebook. And you, you know, he got a lot of people that come to him for the, you know that work. And he was standing in the graveyard. And he was talking how um he was saying how people try to do dark magic on um people. He said um the only way it can work faster if the person don't believe or they out doing dark deeds or they out you know uh being a criminal criminal or they out using and abusing people that's the only way dark magic can really work on you especially fast it gonna hit them because they out doing the negative shit anyway so you once you open up doors like that for negativity things gonna come in that's negative you know what i'm saying and people who do dark magic on other people they open up that door for dark magic to come back on them it ain't protecting them neither. They just got to know how to protect themselves when they doing work like that on people. But he was like, for the people who are in the church, it ain't just the church because, you know, we are walking churches anyway. But people who know who they are, who believe, who well, who know, period, who God is and who they higher source is, their protection, their power, their ancestors. I believe in all of my divine team. I call it that. They cannot be affected, you know. And I told the story again on John Ramirez, I think that's his name, when he was a Satanist. He, he, he believed that he called the devil his daddy. And he was so powerful, they used to pay that man tens of thousands of dollars just to put that, that, that dark magic on people. And his shit worked. He said he gave it 21 days, and 21 days, you were gone, baby. He, he means six feet deep. He wasn't playing by his shit. That's just how powerful that man was in the dark side. But when that woman came to him and tried to get him to put some magic on, on this lady that was serving God, it did not work. And that's when he his awakening started because that's when he started to question the devil. Like, you you said you was powerful. And, and here I am trying to um, put this work on this lady. You're going to come in and tell me that it won't work. God said, stop. And he said, hold on. I thought you was stronger than God. He was like, no, nah, God said, stop. And the devil left. And after that, y'all ought to go watch your video on goddamn YouTube, baby. It is what it is. Celebration passage, the rite of passage, your successful establishment. Um, rest before the next phase, strong foundation. That strong foundation is you and your high, your higher self. So they could try it. <laughs> Look, the deal. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Mm, spirit, gratitude, failure. <laughs> Failure, yeah, they can try it. Look, failure, yeah, trying to terror creates terror, ruthless people. Yeah, man, I ain't got time for this spirit. But for the one who want to hear this, you know, y'all keep doing what y'all doing. Don't let these people stop you. Y'all got a purpose. It, it's a reason why the attack is so heavy. It's a reason why they're trying to come at you because they see the greatness within you. They see that God like energy in, in, in you. They see it. That's why they're trying to, you know, the devil trying to distract you. The devil cannot stop you. He can distract you. He can send all the fear out here. You can choose to be scared or you can choose to still believe in the most high God, period. I put my faith off in the Lord. I put my trust off in the Lord, period. I know God got me. He already said he got me because he within me. He said he ain't never loved my side. If anything, I love him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I love him. You, you seen his testimony. 
Oh my God, Jelly Bean. <laughs> Cause baby, that, that when I first started Tarot, baby, I seen that man oh video somebody had sent it to me, baby. I was sitting in the chill. I was scared and shit. Cause I had uh, um you know how they say took me I'm a cause it's supposed to be from the devil. I don't even get that shit no power neither because you know it is what it is. These are just coloring books, you know. But he told his story though. Everybody got their own story, but he was telling how he was sitting up here and how he he had lost faith in God. That's all. But now he 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 worked for God now, baby. He worked for God because the devil took him through some things. You hear me? Once he told the devil that he wasn't finna work for him no more, he finna go work for God because apparently God got out of power. The devil took that man. He took his whole eyesight. For a whole year, that man was blind. <laughs> the devil said, okay, you don't want to work for me? Okay, I'm taking your shit. And he did. And took that man to hell. And then when he took him to hell, God saved him. And after that, he, he, he was not with the devil no more. He was like, fuck all that. You ain't got no... Look, damn. <laughs> he wasn't with the devil no more. I'm done, spirit. I'm done. He, he, he told the devil, like, oh, you ain't got no power. God got it, baby. You you stay nigga to y'all. He, he severed the tires. Ties, baby. And that's all y'all got to do. Allow God in. Allow your higher self to come in. Allow yourself to know who you are. Be true to yourself. Fuck these folks, for real. They won't spare where... Look, don't restrict your higher energy, baby. Fuck them. New perspective. Fuck them. Fuck them. For real. You ain't got no power over me. Yeah. Indeed. Spirit, what is this? Little hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, breaking on it, baby. Baby, these folks want you to sabotage yourself. They, they trying to call you out. I'm going to call up. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Whoever that. Whoever these little munchkins. Be liberty bitches, whoever they are, death. Probably trying to wish death on your ass too. I know you lying, speed, but baby, you are divinely covered. Baby, may that shit be returned. Hmm. They ain't gonna take it once it hit them though. That's the thing. They can't take it because you are something unique, baby. They trying to get rid of you for real. Clearing the ground for a new, you know when, um, okay, say like when it's farming time, when it's time to uh, plant seeds. Have y'all noticed how the farmers will go and burn all the goddamn, uh, the grass and everything burn? It, it looked like the whole area just burnt up. They burn it. They clear the ground for the new. So even these people throwing the darts at you, talking about you, it's really, it's nothing, it's doing nothing but making you stronger, really. That's all. And it's making them weaker because they getting upset because whatever they're trying to send at you is not working. So, I mean, come on with it. They can't even meet the status quo. Low vibrational energy told them to bring or do something. Are they up here conjuring all these liberty things to come towards you? They must don't know. You, you probably been in your dark days. Them, them liberty vibrations, them lower vibrations going to listen to you before they listen to them. See, they don't know the power you got. They don't even know you. They think they fucking know you, but they're going to learn today. That's what I heard. They're going to learn today. Our spirit keeps saying, not in my house. I know that's real spirit. King of Wands in reverse. You know, these people trying to uh, put fear in you. Uh-uh. No, spirit. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yo, mm -hmm. Fear can't go when you hit it. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. No, nah, they can't. It's all. That's why y'all holding on to the vision. That's why spirit say stay focused on yourself. Cause this shit that they gon' they they finna go through. They cannot take it. They ain't gonna be able to take it. All of these that they tried. Somebody probably tried this shit five, six times or more. They kept going and going, trying to sabotage you. And every time they tried something, you kept rising up out of the ashes like a phoenix. The fuck. Then they, they get confused, like, how, how to collect the rose up out of ashes like that? The hangman. How was you able to be delivered? Like, that two of swords in reverse. <laughs> seven or seven ones in reverse. Y'all, they getting confused because they try to bury you. Bitch. Yo, the hermit. <laughs> you are part of something way bigger, yo. You, you look big to them. That's why they teaming up, trying to, you know, you got to be big. Look at they little bitty stilts. They have to run off in it. You see them little bitty stilts? Y'all see that? Right there. Little bitty stilts, they got to run in the cage. <laughs> in the cage. Oh, they probably in the cage, too. 
they put look, look, look like they in the cave, but cage or something. They running from this this warrior right there. Whatever. What's the um spirit? Cause what is this message going? I ain't got time for this. I ain't got time. Your eight eight of ones in reverse. They in the pastas. Yeah, three of cups. Which then I say them bitches trying to group up. <laughs> Baby, I would laugh in they motherfucking face. What? Yo, two, 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 two. Was on my clock. Two, 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 two. Yo, that's, that's how it go. Yo, they out there sacrificing shit. I put a spell on you. Yo. And now you're gone. That's what they be telling themselves. So gone. No. Yo, it ain't working though. What is this? Flying all across. <sighs> Yo, four ones, baby. The truth. You just the motherfucking truth. Period. I don't care how they folks try to sit up and talk about you. Whatever they trying to do, you a magical being. You just a protective person. That's all. That's it. That's all. Four cups in reverse, and they, they just pulling them somewhere. They they just highly pissed off. Highly pissed off. Spirit, why they pissed off? <laughs> I don't want to sex, sex you up. Y'all probably got that person listening up to you and all these people just crazy. Why the mess here? This is happening now. Why? Yo, unlock phone because you, you just ain't allowing these motherfuckers to get to you. Look, you real. Oh, okay, okay, Spirit. And they fake. Mm hmm. Okay, Spirit. I see why they mad. How <laughs> the deal, but in the higher field. Baby, what? I'm finna go. I'm finna go. Y'all see that shit? I know y'all see. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Y'all see how they trying? The devil thought he was gonna trump God. <laughs> it ain't gonna work easy. It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. I don't care. I don't care. They think it is though. They thought it was the wheel of fortune. Baby, they thought they could. <laughs> these folks these folk tried to turn your wheel. Bend your wheel. Look, he got these cross right here knowing damn well he don't mean no good. Baby. Cloaking themselves. Hiding themselves. Somebody probably got your pictures on the wall, baby. They chanting, num your hurry, whatever. Baby. Baby, what is this fear? Ain't nobody got time for this shit. Fortune teller in reverse. They getting readings on you. Or maybe they didn't. Maybe y'all might be one of them fortune teller. Baby, they, you know how people gonna come for you? They coming for you. Hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know about y'all, but I don't care. This shit is hilarious to me. They say, last night, cry later, I bitch, I get you. You ain't gonna get nobody. You ain't gonna get nobody. I don't know what the devil gonna told you, but I believe in the power of God. You know what I mean? Hmm. And somebody out here working with a voodoo priest, too. <laughs> Look, look, they trying to keep you from working with God because you know the high priestess in the upright and the hierophant is a match together. Together. They don't want spirit to be working with y'all. It ain't nothing about the fortune teller. It's just the high priestess and the hierophant. They trying to get the devil to take their gifts from you because they want it so bad. Like they swear that they can do it better than you. <laughs> Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Ugh. Period. Because that's all they're trying to do. Dusty motherfuckers. Dirty motherfuckers. Yeah. Dirty. Five of ones in reverse in a conflict. Y'all keep making these people mad. Y'all are really pissing them off. Snake. Some of y'all get a bad feeling when y'all think about somebody or maybe this person be on y'all mind. Maybe this person's energy pop up around you. Maybe y'all know who these people are. Because I kind of feel like this person sits close to you or they're always around you. Maybe they are trying to study you and see how they can get you down because no, no matter what they're doing, it's not working. No matter what they're doing. They just like, you know how they say it, the story of Eve. When the snake came and, and tempted her. I feel like some of these people are sending people towards you to pretend like they like you. So they can get you or get some information up out of you. So they can try to use it against you or some shit like that. Mm -hmm, the magician. 
Yeah, they want to get some of your knowledge, baby. Whatever that is, the ace, the queen of pentacles, whatever that is you know about you. They want to get it. This person really want to get it. Up out of you. I mean, no matter what they have done, it's not working. Seven of pentacles in reverse. They want you to be in your mind. They probably want you to go crazy, too. After they take this shit is what I'm hearing. Six of cups. Yeah, they want to take it. Mm-mm, spirit. Mm-hmm. Somebody from your past history. Maybe it was a friend with this person or something to that nature. I heard something about panties. Maybe somebody that got your drawers or something. Maybe somebody's utilizing whatever they get from you. You know how when they say, like my mom used to tell me, don't be throwing your pads away, ladies. Don't be throwing your pads away at people's houses. Or in public because people get your shit and use it against you. And I believe that. Because I feel like this person probably got something something of yours that they're trying to use against you so they can stop you or whatever. Yo, seven of pentacles in reverse. They want you to be in your mind delusional. Look at that libid ass, right? A libid motherfucker there. Okay, spirit. All in 2024 for the ones who are um, known of y'all. So 2024 is about to bring you in some, some type of prosperity is what I'm hearing. Somebody, something dealing with a golden egg. Or some of y'all might collect Fabergé eggs or something. Do you know how the, the uh, you know how people, I'm from the country, they call them whatnot stands. You know, you put all your little trinkets and stuff on your, your stand or whatever. But, hey, you know, I feel like y'all will be delicate. Y'all are delicate um, energies and spirit probably just going to place you somewhere. Mm, right place, right time. Um, and somebody's going to recognize you. Um, this blessing that's coming towards you, these people, if they've been getting readings on you, they're trying to stop this 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 activation. Y'all already activated. I'm hearing Beyonce song, you won't break my soul. They cannot, but I feel like spirit is about to come and give something, gift you with something. You know what I'm saying? Right in front of you, bitch, it's six of pentacles. Favor isn't fair. Show favor. Show favor. That's why they killed talking about favor ain't fair. Favor isn't. Because you doing what you got to do. Seven of course, you doing what you got to do out here in these streets. Y'all ain't bothering nobody, but these people are bothered by you, though. Even though you ain't messing with them. You ain't even got to do no magic on them. Because, again, once you try to do some stuff, like, you know how they... I don't know. I'm indifferent with that return to send the shit. Because once you open up the door for that... It, you got you know so it gonna come back so returning to send them whatever energy that they're using against you can't come back too you know i ain't finna open up now one of them cans of worms you know i just know god got my back period like god go handle my lightweight and god said it is so done he got you i got you baby i got you and that's period that's period y'all be saying god got y'all and god be showing that he got y'all for real Yo, he about to make you an example of who did it, God did it. Yo, God did it. They ain't going to be able to question that. Baby, how you, how, how was you? Did you not know that I, oh, I hear somebody, somebody going to get sick too. And they're going to be coming telling you what happened. Yo, the seven of coins in reverse, this person going to get sick. And then they're going to be in your face telling you how they tried to stop you. And they sorry. <laughs> Because I feel like that's the only way this person going to come up out them when they make it right. Maybe y'all ain't gonna want to hear this shit neither. I don't blame y'all because I don't know, spirit. This shit be getting on my nerves. On my nerves. How dare they? Little four ones. Why is the four? Spirit, the four ones came out here three times. The death. Somebody trying to disconnect some type of couple to spirit. No. That's what this shit is about. We still on that energy. The four of ones came out three times with three different days. Okay, what's this energy? Let me move all this shit out the way. And let me get into it. Because why these bitches mad though? Because you the real one. She. Let me get another date. So y'all know it's real. <laughs> yup. Some of y'all just use some type of connection to awaken your third eye. I don't know which one I'm going to use. these um early marriage some type of little uh 
somebody trying to sever this marriage, this connection, or whatever this is. Their relationship, wedding bells. You and somebody finna get married. Maybe y'all are a power couple. You and this, you probably, you and your higher self is married. Your conscious and your subconscious mind married together. They work together. And I know if y'all don't know about that, maybe y'all need to look it up. It's in metaphysics. But when you, when your subconscious mind and your, your conscious mind working together, they're married together. That's the dark and light energy, the 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 imaginative and the logics. All this shit is just working together, and you're you're able to manifest the things your heart's desires. Somebody's trying to sever that. If this ain't no person that you married to, if this ain't no connection that you're in, they trying to sever this shit. You know, prosperity, successions, measures of depending on the other cards. So with these cards, y'all got success around y'all. Wedding bells. This is marriage anyway. Somebody don't want you to be married to something. You know, the Hierophant and the High Priestess came out together. That's a marriage. That's a connection. That's, that's something that's meant to be together. Of higher order. Something spirit put together. And these little bitty bitches is so mad, y'all. <laughs> I'm so... Ooh, spirit. If I could just flip their ass up out of here. You know, they come up and run. I'm going to get your ass out of the way. <laughs> Because that's what they want to feel like. They want to feel bigger or something like that. They're trying to take some away. Cupid. Best friend. No, spirit. Not the best friend. Yo, somebody wants you to be single forever. They don't want you to be in this connection. This, this good fortune, heart, happiness, large family. Y'all, somebody's uh, gratitude. This, this, whatever spirit is giving you, baby. Um, mm -mm, love and marriage. Wish card, high status, influence, riches. Somebody's didn't I say somebody what all these eight, nine, ten, and the ace and a joker. Oh my god, all these cups, all these cups, all this love energy, all this this water energy. Y'all know they say spirit is a water, he flows. Y'all got to go with the flow. This flow that God is creating in your life, these people trying to interrupt that shit, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> they mad. Yeah, misunderstanding. <laughs> they mad. Ah, poor ting ting. Ah, poor ting ting. Yo, rich is suddenly acquired. Didn't I say? Okay. Okay. Somebody finna get some. Mm. All I do is win, win, win. I'm in a marriage with money. Y'all finna marry somebody who got money. Or maybe y'all finna come into some money and marry y'all person, y'all counterpart, or something like that. Maybe y'all, I don't know. Maybe y'all finna find y'all counterpart. Maybe y'all counterpart might be rich. Somebody be getting readings on y'all, baby. They're trying to restrict y'all. I don't give a fuck. This future energy, baby. This king that's coming in. King me, baby. They ain't trying to king you. They trying to push this motherfucker up out the way. Some of y'all are mentors out here. They trying. Maybe that's y'all business. Maybe that's y'all purpose in life. To be a born leader. This aren't they visionary, gratitude, whatever vision you have within you. They trying to cloud. They should look wrong to us. They want you to, baby, they trying to alienate you. And I, baby, I ain't finna keep doing this, spirit. Bully you. Oh, my God. Self-doubt. They want you to be in doubt, conflict. They don't want you to be the empress. They want you to feel like you ain't a motherfucking empress. But you is. Or the high priestess. Or the higher thing. Whatever you are, baby. But you ain't no low vibrational person. I know that. That's what they are. <laughs> they were trying to block you, fuck with your money, fuck with you, confusion, you know, how you confused, how you doubting yourself, they don't want you to be with your child, spirit. I know y'all glad y'all be coming to me because I'm going to spill out to see these liberty bitches. Give me the raise, spirit. It's time to exterminate these motherfuckers because they're getting on my nerves. Tired of them being on my table any goddamn way. Ladies, man, and boy. Maybe it was an ex that you used to deal with or something to that nature. Oh, spirit. They don't want you to be real. I know that's real. Look, you scare me. Duh. And why they doing all this shit? They want you to be scared of them because they are scared of your ass. They are scared you're going to make it. They, gonna, they scared that whatever you speaking about, this new beginning is about. Look, they trying to delay the new beginning. Baby, I'm finna go. Baby, what? They trying to control this connection. Baby, mm, dark magic. Ah. This favor I ain't fair. They trying to break up their favor. Baby, y'all ain't got no power over girl. Y'all need to sit y'all head down somewhere, baby. Hmm. They sitting on him letting the devil trick them. Hell, them think. Or they sitting on him tricking they self with their low vibration ass. 
low vibrational ass. Y'all gonna let the devil sit up here and have y'all ass confused and in the insane asylum. They're gonna be in the insane asylum, baby. But, and under all this pressure, because they want to try the wrong one. I heard they trying the right one, what Spirit says. Because they're gonna learn today. 745 is on my clock. They're gonna fucking learn today. Somebody's addicted to you or they got addictions. These people got problems in their own home and they don't want to even deal with it. They too busy trying to deal with you. Trying to stop. Look, they need to focus on themselves. Baby, what? He called. Fell on the floor. <sighs> I'm so sick of this shit. <laughs> Speed. Because you said no. But I got 717. 717 was on my clock. I know what that is. Y'all look at that 717 angel number because I know it's something dealing with your divine counterpart. That's exactly what that is, too. Because these people are so fucking mad. If y'all ain't met y'all counterpart yet, y'all finna meet them. Period. Vampire. Spirit. Mm-mm. Let me close this out. I got six minutes and 47 seconds, baby. Give me one more card to close this out. <laughs> Father. Father. Can you hear me? And mother? Oh, my God. You know, when y'all get with that person, too, y'all, if y'all are able to have kids, somebody's going to have a baby, too. Her father and mother card just came out back to back. And even if you can't have a child, y'all might have a miracle baby. What do they call them? Rainbow babies or whatever. Yeah, Delante, baby. The vision. Y'all keep holding on to the vision. The lights and the arts um, without having a professional alerts you to danger of becoming superficial in your pursuit. Yeah, these people trying to, whatever you're creating, all this good energy, y'all mixing and ma matching and creating and whatever god gave y'all the will to create whatever y'all fucking want to create child nature y'all mm -hmm. natural spirit nature spirit some of y'all connect with the spirits in, in nature too child wounded that's how these people problem is they wounded as hell open to learning the path of forgiveness who got to forgive spirit because that was a um bible verse that came up this morning about forgiveness Forgive those who trespasses as we forgive those who... Y'all know that, that damn prayer. It says, forgive those who sinned against you just like you want your father to forgive you or some shit like that. I don't know because I, I, I told y'all the story about Jesus, but that don't mean y'all Jesus now. You know, y'all human. <laughs> y'all know they said Jesus forgave somebody 77 times 7. That's a lot of time, baby. Goddess energy. The feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life force. Yeah, that life force, that God energy within y'all. Judge and warrior. Yeah, y'all are that destroyer. Y'all gonna bring the emo. I'm talking about y'all gonna make these folks feel like nothing after y'all get through. And y'all ain't gonna even do nothing to them. It's the fact that y'all gonna elevate. So that's gonna hurt them. Because whatever they try to do against you ain't working. You ain't got to take them or nothing. You can just keep doing what you got to do. Judge, balancing justice is being served. Managing the fair distribution of power. Baby, that power within you. They can have some power too if they chose to walk right. But they don't want to walk right. They want to walk with this low vibrational energy and think they're going to win something. Baby, you ain't going to win shit. Why, look, that's why your ass ain't gonna go nowhere. The hermit seeks solitude to focus intently on inner life. Right. Then I, then I start reading off like that. That's all y'all doing is focusing on y'all self. And that's all they want you to do is focus on them. Because that's all they doing is focusing on you. They want you to be so scared of they live it ass magic. Oh, you ain't scared of my magic. Okay, I'm finna go do it again. Do it again. Okay, do it again. Fam, they still ain't gonna bother me. Try it again, motherfucker. Try again, motherfucker. Okay, that's what y'all gonna be telling me. Try again. <laughs> They're going to be like, what? You want me to try it again? Okay, I'm going to do it. Yo, go, go. 333 was on my clock. Three of Cups, the right hand of God. Fame and renown, influence, commerce, voyage, and great discoveries. Baby, that's all these cards keep repeating me. Mm -hmm. Breaking the circle, lift opposing barriers, and brings victory. Because y'all still going to win. Y'all, it's a lot of motherfucking money out here. I don't know about y'all, but I'm claiming mine. They can't stop my show. They ain't going to stop me. P 
period. Yeah, my show is called The Latoya Show. And they the one be tuning in. Other Virgo show on YouTube, y'all. Y'all go support that too. <laughs> the one with the magician. It's the Virgo show. Sun, Moon, Rise, and a Twin Flame Tarot 11 11. That's probably why so many people probably mad at me. Y'all, I don't know about y'all, but I know my story. But I know a lot of people mad at me because I, I got a real deal twin. And I ain't even got to chase that nigga. I still get power. I'm still powerful. I'm still great. And I don't, I don't even need him. It was just a blessing to meet him. You know what I'm saying? Because it activated something in me. It, it helped me to stop being scared. Because I was a scared old little motherfucker. I was scared of myself. I had to tell somebody that early. 2 2, two was on my clock. Uh, on my time. I had to tell somebody that early today. When she, it was a woman had inboxed me. And she was asking me about my took me in my car. She was like, well, people say tarot cards are, are, are from the devil. And you know, that's why I call them took me in my cards. Because they're nothing but coloring books. I give these cards really no power. The power come from me. The, the God, that God energy that was within me. That God gave me. Yeah, I was just blessed in Hall of Fame. He just blessed me with some of his sum, a fraction of his power. So people sit up him and they get distracted by these took me Emma cards, baby. And you know, I used to get distracted too, because I used to be afraid too. But you know, people learn differently. So I like I posted the other day, God give you a talent, use your talent, whatever talent that is, everybody's talent is different. So people want you to think like the mask is. I'm an individual. I don't, I'm not of the mask is. I'm not like that, baby. I am who I am. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to be like everybody else. But, you know, I am different. And she came to me and asked me about these took me Emma cards. And I had to tell her, I, these cards is not what the power is coming from. It's coming from my most high. If I was working for the devil, that means I ain't doing my job. Because I ain't pushing people toward fear. I'm pushing people toward their higher self. Them activating. Them seeing themselves. Them having confidence. Them building themselves. Them having that sturdy foundation. Them recognizing the God present within them just like I do. You know what I'm saying? If I was working for the devil, then that means I'm not doing right. I supposed to be making y'all scared. I supposed to be doing dark magic on y'all. I supposed to be trying to, you know, take from y'all. Take all your little money or whatever. Make sure y'all better p p uh, give me some money before I pull another card type shit. I don't even be worried about all that. I just come out here and do my father's biddings and whatever I got to do is whatever I got to do. And God going to pay me regardless of what somebody say. You know, if y'all, if they don't pay me, I still get paid. Come on, most side, come and give me, bless me abundantly. I ain't got to go out here and scam nobody, do all that other shit. If I work for the devil, I might will be, you know. You know, even the preachers that got the little book, the holy book, they, they what they be doing? Scam y'all ass, right? <laughs> scam y'all up out the church, right? They push y'all away because you sin, and they sin. They don't tell you about they sin, do you? And they go out there and pretend like they perfect, right? Right, right. See, I'm just standing here being myself. That's why I curse, because I am that I am. That's why I dress the way I do. I am. I'm not perfect. I'm not. I'm perfect in God's image. That's why he chose me. But I ain't come around here telling nobody, these people that ain't got no sin. And then I do fuck up sometimes. And I get, I get checked out too. When I do wrong, my higher self come through it. And, and you know that when right to it. You know, it's worse when you have to face yourself. When your higher self be trying to come in and correct you and show you the errors in you, that's the worst type of ass whooping you can ever get. That guilt get in your ass up. That, that, all that. It get to tan that ass up. So either you're going to get right or you're going to keep getting them leaks. Karma going to tear that ass up because you know you were doing wrong. Apparently, I ain't getting no karma. Apparently, I'm out here planting good seeds and these people want to sit up and you doing the devil's work. How? How, sir? You doing it by trying to put fear in me and push me away from my God, baby. No, you don't know what God doing for me in my life. And that's why these people mad because they don't know what God doing for you in your life. They mad because they want to understand you. They cannot because it's understanding, baby. You got to go with them when you want to learn me. And, baby, you'll get lost trying to follow me. You'll get lost out here in these spiritual streets trying to keep up with me. But, baby, I'm doing my job. You don't know what my assignment is. That's why they mad. They don't know what your assignment is. Look, the higher fin in reverse, they don't know. They sitting up here trying to uh, mm, grab the food. They don't know. They don't know what God told you. That's why they stuck. That's why they sitting up here trying to down talk you, play you, uh, get rid of you. And then when you get to talking highly of yourself, they're going to try to tell you, oh, you got the big head. No, I ain't got the big head, bitch. You thought you had the big head when you thought you could take me down. That ain't for you. It's not your right to come through and try to take me down. It's not your right to come and stop me. It's not your right to eliminate nothing that God has prepared for me. You cannot come and get my food off my table, bitch. That's my food. God put that food up there. 
My hairs are did that. I worked my ass off for that. I built this motherfucking table. I'm coming with my table, baby. I am the table. I am the food for your motherfucking soul. Like me or not. And they love the hell out of you. That's why they're trying to do this dark magic. Baby, I can't get rid of her. She's so great. She's so amazing. I know, right? That's why these people be low. They just low. Low, low, low. That's why you ain't got to entertain these bitches. Your lights is irritating on your blessing, that favor that the most high God got over you is irritating. It's irritating. And y'all know when y'all sit up here and get in favor, y'all choosing y'all. So that's favor. Because you ain't got to take nothing that God has to offer you. You don't. That's why so many people suffer. Because God got a blessing for you. He got a plan for you. He got a purpose for you. But you don't take it. So then you're going to live in misery. You sit up here doing shit the wrong, crooked way. And wondering why your life keeps falling apart. Because there's something better out there for you. But you're not doing the better part. You're doing what's worse. And then you want to get mad at God because your life falling apart. When he told you, he gave you the plan. Gave you the blueprint. Print. I want you to do this. I want you to do that. But you like, nah, I got it. I got it. And then you want to run back to God because your life falling apart. But, but nah. Dance or like do something to change your energy. And that's something that they cannot do. But get mad at, at other people and at the most high because things is not working out. You ain't working out. That's the problem. Double mission. Light worker starts to serve the world by being you. That's all you doing. Serving the world by being you. Because that's our purpose, really, to be of service. And I don't care if I'm helping one person or millions of people. I'm doing my job. God told me to go out and help people. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm helping people. I ain't tearing y'all down. I ain't hindering y'all. And if the truth hurts, then, bitch, that means there's something in you that you need to um, heal. Because the truth ain't hindering nobody. That lie is, though. And if I wasn't your friend, baby, I'd be out here lying to you and telling y'all know how these readers be sitting up here just, just, just saying any and everything. Then I'm going to do, I'm going to go on to a Patreon or whatever. I'm going to see what this person be for. We trying to feed you that shit to get you all that, get all that money from you. you know, I ain't got time. And the only people I really be helping is the one my most high tell me to. If spirit tell me to go talk to that person, I'm going to go talk to them. If spirit tell me to help this person, I'm going to go help them. If spirit tell me not to fuck with them, I'm not going to do it. I don't care how much money they got off. I'm not taking that. I don't want that. Not all money is good money. And I'm not finna sell myself and no liberty ass money. You damn sure ain't finna trap me up in no bullshit. Neither hang got time for that. Boundaries, right, spirit. Gratitude. Whether you need to establish better boundaries, right? Because I ain't finna play with y'all. <laughs> I love y'all, though. I hope y'all have an amazing day.